10 hidden details you missed in famous paintings. Number 10. Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Artists, critics, and even scientists have studied this portrait's famous smile for centuries, and the more it is studied, the more hidden secrets and details are revealed. Painted by da Vinci in the 16th century, even the subject of the painting has been debated. Is it Lisa Gherardini, the wife of an Italian aristocrat? Is it an obscure self-portrait of da Vinci himself? But some of the biggest mysteries involve what is hidden in the brushstrokes. Recently, Italian scholars announced that the artist and inventor left microscopic inscriptions within the painting. On a bridge behind Mona, there is what the scholars believe is either the letter L followed by the number 2 or the number 72. If you zoom in on her left eye, you can see what looks like either the letters B or the letters C and E. In the right eye, even more distinguishable are the letters L and V. The most confounding writing lies behind the painting were the numbers 149, followed by a smudge where a fourth letter may have been placed. The scholars theorize that this is most likely the year that da Vinci painted the piece, but that could place it as being created almost a decade before most art historians currently believe, somewhere between 1503 and 1517. What do these numbers and letters mean? Are they a secret code? Was da Vinci using some sort of paint-by-numbers kit? Or are they all just scribbles and initials? Number 9. El Autobus by Frida Kahlo. Mexico's most renowned matron of masterpieces, Frida Kahlo, was known for her surreal and self-deprecating style of art, and no piece has more striking hidden content than that of her 1929 piece, known in English as The Bus. On first viewing, it appears as a picture of an ordinary bus stop. Seated are representations of each class of Mexican society. A housewife, a man of the working class, a native Mexican and child, a white-collar businessman, and a beautiful young woman clad in pink. But when considering Kahlo's backstory, the painting becomes a much darker affair. Four years before she painted this piece, at the age of 18, Kahlo was involved in a life-altering traffic accident when the bus she was riding on crashed into a trolley. She would survive, but was permanently damaged from a handrail that penetrated her pelvic bone, leaving her unable to bear children and caused her to live in pain for the rest of her life. Traumatized by the event, it would become the basis for a bulk of her work, and El Autobus is no different. It depicts the scene just before Kahlo, the lady in pink, gets on the bus headed toward its fate. Number 8. La Primavera by Botticelli. Painting in the early Italian Renaissance, Sandro Botticelli was known as a sort of renegade. He brought a slightly less realistic approach to his painting than other contemporaries of his time, often painting scenes out of mythology and dismissing anatomical precision for a more dreamlike style. His most mysterious work is that of La Primavera, with an unknown origin and debatable subject matter. Most say it has something to do with the Roman goddess Venus welcoming spring, but it's what's in the details that is so astonishing. Around the goddess and women in the painting, Botticelli painted an extremely ornate garden full of over 200 plant and flower species and around 500 individual plants making them up. Historians aren't sure whether the plants are products of Botticelli's imagination or actual plants that grew around his home in Florence, but the accuracy in minutia is staggering. Some scholars say that the true subject of the painting is not the alleged goddess, but the plants themselves. Number 7. The Madonna with Saint Giovannino by Dimonico Ghirlandaio. If you are familiar with the theories of ancient alien theorists and ufologists, then you might recognize this one. Ghirlandaio was one of the many great artists hailing from Florence during the Italian Renaissance, and like his contemporaries, some of his best works were those depicting scenes from the Bible. The Madonna with Saint Giovannino depicts an infant Jesus being embraced by John the Baptist while the Virgin Mary looks over them in prayer. So what could be controversial about that? Well, besides the fact that there is still dispute over who truly painted the piece, there is a small detail in the artwork that has puzzled those who look upon it and sparked conspiracy. If you look up and to the right over Mary's shoulder, you can see an object that may be from out of this world and definitely shouldn't have existed in the time of Christ's birth. What looks like a glowing gray or metallic object hovering innocently over the horizon has many convinced that Ghirlandaio painted a flying saucer into his nativity scene. Why would he do such a thing? Maybe he had to get an ancient secret off his chest, or maybe it's just a meteor. But why paint a meteor? We'll leave it for you to decide. Number 6. Café Terrace at Night by Vincent van Gogh, the Dutch Impressionist master of the late 1800s. You might best know Van Gogh for his painting Starry Night, or his depression-induced self-amputation of his ear. But Van Gogh painted hundreds of amazing works in his short life, and one of his most revered is Café Terrace at Night. It seems to portray an ordinary French bistro on cobbled streets at night. But, as recent theories suggest, that may not be the half of it. It may depict a modern interpretation of The Last Supper. If one squints and peers into the cafe, you can see that there are 12 people eating closely together around the tables. In the middle of them, you can see a man in a white robe standing with full attention of the 12 patrons. Not only that, there are several crosses Van Gogh seemed to have painted as Easter eggs, leading to the painting's true meaning. 
Apparently, Van Gogh was a zealous Christian when growing up, and though not as spiritual in his adult life, he may have clung to the foundations of his Christian upbringing and expressed it through his work. Number 5. The Sistine Chapel by Michelangelo. As far as mysterious messages hidden in artwork goes, the Italian Renaissance artist extraordinaire Michelangelo is rivaled only by that of da Vinci. So it's not a surprise that his most elaborate piece, the ceiling of the Vatican's Sistine Chapel, is full of metaphor and Michelangelo's personal expression. One of the main details that many art historians focus on when studying the ceiling are his insanely accurate depictions of human anatomy. Michelangelo, beyond being an artistic jack-of-all-trades, was also an avid anatomist. At the time of the painting, the Catholic Church was not yet hip to the importance of science in everyday life, still participating in the hassling of those who practiced it. It is thought that Michelangelo likely took it to heart, and in order to subtly subvert the church, peppered his art with symbolism in the name of science. Though the Sistine Chapel has several of these creations, the most astounding is that of the section called The Creation of Adam, in which God is carried by angels to touch the finger of his newly created man. But the secret lies in the cloth that encompasses God and the angels. It is shaped like half of the human brain. In fact, scientists and artists have cross-referenced the painting and found that Michelangelo's was anatomically correct, right down to the vertebral artery, which is signified by a piece of green cloth that weaves through the angels. Number 4. Bacchus by Caravaggio. Michelangelo Morisi da Caravaggio was one of the godfathers of Baroque painting. He worked with an exceptional understanding of light and an astounding precision when it came to presenting the physical world. His work Bacchus depicts the fun-loving Roman god of wine and harvest. However, that's not all that Caravaggio painted in the piece. In 1922, when it came time for the canvas to be cleaned, the restorer found that after wiping off hundreds of years of gunk and dust, that Caravaggio had hidden a tiny self-portrait of himself inside the god's bottle of wine. Though the restoration inevitably resulted in the slow fading and eventual complete disappearance of the image, the miniature scene of Caravaggio working at his easel can still be viewed using computer imaging. The remaining question is, what is he painting inside the wine bottle? Is it Bacchus? Or maybe another self-portrait? Number 3. Man Writing a Letter and Woman Reading a Letter by Gabriel Metsu. One of the many great painters of the Dutch Golden Age, Gabriel Metsu, was a master of many techniques and like many of his Dutch contemporaries had an affinity for painting scenes that contain subtle messages or hints towards context. One of the practices that are commonly seen is that of a painting inside the painting. Man writing a letter and woman reading a letter are companion pieces. In Man writing a letter, Metsu portrays a young man seated at a table, quill in hand, writing a letter. In Woman reading a letter, a woman, you guessed it, is reading a letter. They seem like generally normal events, but each of these paintings show another painting in the background, and that's where the real story lies. In Man, the painting on the wall is that of a blustery autumn day, and in Woman, another maiden is lifting curtains to reveal the ominous image of a ship during a storm. Critics debate on the story, but a common theory is that the two are in a long-distance relationship, and that the inner paintings represent their worries or hardships to come. Number 2. The Tempest, Giorgione. This Italian painter of the High Renaissance was known for his dramatic and thought-provoking works, which usually portrayed events in Roman mythology or Christianity. But in one of his most critically acclaimed and thought-provoking pieces entitled The Tempest, the subject matter is unclear. It's been debated that it portrays everything from Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, Adam, Eve, and Cain, to varying stories of Greek or Roman legend. It is also considered one of the first landscape paintings ever made in the Western Hemisphere. In this piece, it is not just one detail that is hidden from view, but more the great complexity that Giorgione put into it without being too specific as to clue us in on the true meaning. As such, the painting has perplexed and provoked those who view it. Some even say that the soul of Giorgione, who passed away in his 30s, dwells within it. Number 1. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. We end and begin our countdown with the enigmatic genius, Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci's iconic painting, The Last Supper, has inspired conspiracy after conspiracy, enough to warrant several books, both fiction and non. There have been many debates regarding hidden messages in The Last Supper, ranging from supposed symbolic nature of the food to theories that it holds the secret to a cover-up by the Catholic Church of Jesus' true identity. But probably the most fascinating hidden message was found in 2007 by Giovanni Marapala, an Italian musician. He contends that Da Vinci had hidden a song within the painting, in 2003, Marapala began investigating a myth he heard from researchers that da Vinci had incorporated a series of musical notes into his portrayal of Jesus' last meal. He discovered that by charting out the lines of the musical staff and reading from right to left, which was the way da Vinci had written in his secret journals, that the hands of Jesus and his apostles, as well as the bread placed along the table, reveal a short requiem like him. His theory has since been backed up by several da Vinci experts. They reason that da Vinci, as well as being an incredible inventor and visual artist, was an adept musician and composer. So it's very possible that the song is not just a coincidence.
subscribe for more videos.